I grew up with a curiosity for the natural world and the courage to dream big. While science does have its laws, like you cannot float after jumping on Earth, science still offered me the freedom, while Christianity put up a barrier at every corner. Science does not condemn, nor does it condone who we can be as people. But when things go wrong, where do we turn to next? Life became much less cohesive in my early teens because I won most of the answers, but without the conformity of religion. In all, I just wanted to be myself. Because the natural world isn't conscious, we are free to modify it. And with these modifications can come amazing things, such as nuclear power. Nuclear power is one of the prime examples of nature modification. We can use uranium ore to create fuel rods which are then used to create steam and propel a turbine. This process generates 11% of the world's electricity, according to the World Nuclear Association. It is technology like this that naturally made me choose nuclear power as my course beam, both as a way to enhance scientific knowledge of my own, along with improving the knowledge of others. To better understand radiation and how it works, we must first look at what it does not do. While average Joes will survive on old packaged standbys, your ironclad insides will allow you to seek fresh meat. Radiation poisoning may have enlarged your favorite meals. This means more healthful nutrition for you. Jokes aside, the field of quantum mechanics and physics demonstrate atomic equilibrium. An example is bowling with the nucleus being the pins and radiation being represented as a bowling ball. The United States and other developed countries have had a historically bad track record of properly disposing nuclear waste. The Atomic Energy Commission in the late 40s made a policy decision to start dumping barrels of nuclear waste into the ocean. That's right. After nearly three decades, the program was finally put to a stop by Jimmy Carter in the late 70s. What resulted in those three decades were over 60 dump sites. There's still an issue of high-level wastes, which pose a far greater biological threat than regular fuel rods. A potential option for disposal created by the Department of Energy is called the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant. Located near Yukon Mountain in Nevada, it would be built with methods to warn future excavators. Methods include hieroglyphics, seven international languages recognized by the United Nations, and an off-site archive guaranteed to sustain knowledge of the nuclear waste for over 10,000 years. Better information from the Department of Energy would help ease the distrust of residents, potentially bring safer disposal to more regions around the United States and elsewhere globally. My investigation into the pitfalls of nuclear power led to an interesting revelation. All forms of energy production have experienced accidents. Nuclear power has had the least amount of accidents. Nuclear engineers may argue that the risk is a warranted cost of clean emissions, yet wind, solar, and hydro don't require harmful fuel to operate. The only decent version of nuclear energy going forward is thorium-based reactors. Thorium is found much more readily than uranium. Its decay is also safer as it releases alpha particles, which can be blocked by a piece of paper. Thorium studies are too recent to be considered viable. My surveys reveal most people prefer wind, solar, and hydro for clean energy. An interview with Alexandra Esgari, a PhD candidate at UC Berkeley, helped clarify some of my lingering questions regarding nuclear power. When asking what the effects of shutting down nuclear power were, she stated that the trouble is that coal pollutes the environment and kills people slowly with lung-related illnesses that don't seem like they're entirely related to coal. But nuclear disasters are high-profile and scary, even though they don't kill a lot of people. So I think shutting down nuclear power is a terrible thing 
because we are putting more people's lives at stake, quote unquote. Now it's safe to say that nuclear power is here to stay. While not as highly regarded by the public compared to other alternative energy sources, it has had one of the better safety records. My opinion has changed due to extensive research. Today I'm less likely to support nuclear power when compared with alternative forms of energy. Now that you know the truth, would you embrace the decay?